Will an underperforming queen from a dying nucleus colony be able to save my swarm that was queenless? Let's find out. It has been two weeks since I combined this hive that has a colony from a swarm that was queenless with a queen from a colony in a nucleus box that was dying. My hope was, obviously, that adding the queen to this hive would save them from dying out, since otherwise they were hopelessly queenless and would be doomed. Now that has been exactly two weeks since I added the queen to this hive, and the bees accepted the queen fine, except I did check on this hive one week after adding the queen, and I'm glad that I did, because it turned out that these bees, when I moved the frames over from that other, that, from that nucleus colony, they immediately, apparently, set to work making a supersedure queen cell. That cell was capped, and if I had not checked on this hive at that time, that queen would have emerged and either superseded the queen that I'd added or may have uh, prompted a swarm. At this time of year, I did not want this hive to have to go through requeening. I found it interesting that the bees reacted so quickly in making that cell. And I'm hoping that eventually they chose to be satisfied with the queen's progress. This frame just has some nectar on the one side and it's fairly dry on the other. We'll move this out of the way to give us some space to work. So that was a little concerning that the bees immediately felt the need to supersede that queen, but I did see eggs in the cells, so I'm hoping that that queen redeemed herself. So now we're going to check and see how much brood they have and kind of get a feel for the prognosis of this hive. More nectar here. Again, it's dry on this side toward me. That's kind of interesting that they're dry on the same sides. The activity at the entrance of this hive has been somewhat constant to maybe a little diminished, and that's not particularly surprising since they were queenless and uh, those frames I moved over had a some brood on it, but not a lot, so it would take time for the emerging bees to catch up with what these bees would naturally lose. Again, nectar on this side. Well, not much. And a little on the side toward me. So there's actually, actually a fair band of nectar across the top there, so that's not too bad. But as I was saying, it wouldn't be surprising for their population to decline a little until the new brood catches up. And that's what we're looking for, looking to see if the, we've got enough brood here to kind of keep things going. Now this frame is fairly heavy, got pretty good nectar throughout this side, except at the very bottom. And some ne little nectar on this side. Now as I'm turning this, you can see it's not dripping nectar out, so that tells me that's fairly thick, getting fairly dry, and these cells are, are kind of full, so they are probably getting close to capping some of that as honey. If it was newer nectar and thinner, then when I turn that frame sideways, you would expect to see some of it dripping out. Got a few hive beetles in here, we'll smash what we can. But I haven't seen a lot on the frames, and that's a good sign. I want the bees to have enough of a population here that they can kind of keep those hive beetles in check. Kind of herd them away from the frames. So, more nectar here. And on the other side, kind of a broken record. I'm not at all disappointed with the amount of nectar they have stored. But I want to start seeing some brood. I do have an entrance reducer on this hive just because of their lower numbers want to kind of give them less space to defend from any potential robbers. Now this frame is fairly dry, a little nectar on the side toward me, but dry on the side that's away. But that entrance reducer is on this end 
and uh, because of that I expect to see the brood as well on this end which is where I added those brood frames from the nucleus box this frame has pretty good and almost full of nectar here one thing I'm not seeing much of and hopefully I'll see some as we get closer to brood here is much bee bread or pollen they will need the bee bread to feed any young brood I have seen a few bees bringing in pollen lately we've had a good flow a lot of my hives are hauling in a lot of pollen this one hasn't so much but uh, they have brought some now this frame has some brood on there and I can see all around that brood I see quite a few eggs it's not covering the frame um, would like to see it a little bigger but uh, same story on this side got a little brood at the top and some eggs around it but this is the first brood frame we've gotten to and they haven't really built out a lot of these cells so they may just not be deep enough for brood throughout that frame we'll move on to see what we have on this next frame there we've got brood like I want to see um, obviously not covering that frame but there is a lot of larvae surrounding that cat brood and intermingled between the cat brood so uh, that's what we're wanting to see and same thing on this side a lot of cat brood there and larvae around it I see some eggs on the outer edges here um, got some nectar around the sides not seeing a lot of pollen they might be kind of using up what they're bringing in but their brood is looking better than what they had before and no queen cells on that frame I haven't seen my queen yet she's a marked queen from this year so she has a yellow dot so she should kind of there she is right there on that frame on the right down there this frame has more nectar here don't see many eggs or anything in there so I'm guessing she just kind of ran back there to get away from the light as I'm moving the frames now I do see more bee bread on this frame so there we've got the bee bread that they're gonna need so that's good um, got a little capped honey on this frame so that's mainly food stores and the bee bread for feeding the young brood while it would be wonderful to open up this uh, hive and see frame upon frame full of brood it is still good news to see number one the increased amount of brood over what they had before it looks like that queen who was kind of seeming to get <laughs> be trying to get things together when I introduced her to that nucleus colony or it wasn't a nucleus when I introduced her but uh, the colony was dying out so I ended up moving them into a nucleus box but anyway the queen never really seemed to kind of have her act together in there I had mentioned in my previous video when I added that queen that uh, I saw cells that would have a couple eggs in them which is not all that unusual when you're dealing with a new queen who's kind of figuring out how things work but it looks like now she's kind of reaching her stride and things are looking better would like to see them build up some more I want to try to get this hive ready for winter but I'll need to be able to feed them to do that and I have some concerns about doing that right now with their current numbers so I am very happy about this inspection and like I said to see that the queen seems to have gotten things together is starting to fill some frames with brood would like to see some more brood in this hive and uh, to forage and get them ready get their stores up for winter but they're doing what they can now I'd mentioned that I would like to feed this hive but the problem is I don't expect to do my final honey harvest for the year until later this fall so if I feed in this hive considering that they don't have a huge population right now I may cause a robbing situation 
this Lands hive right behind me is a really strong hive and I think that they would probably be fairly opportunistic if they smell sugar syrup in this hive they may start robbing from it and I don't want to open feed or set the feeder out away from the hives because that means all the hives around here would be feeding from that and that means that the honey I harvest would be part sugar water I will start feeding them very gradually each night inside of the hive giving them just a little bit each night so they can build up their nectar resources, maybe stimulate a little more brood production and get this hive ready for winter. So I appreciate you coming along and I'm glad to be able to share some good news with you. If you've enjoyed this video, then you might also like this other video that Google has selected especially for you. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time.